I'll hit a. Uh, I'll just I'll I'll just make a note in my mind. That's uh, this is the part I'm interested in. And on the rest of and on on the rest of the UV, I can just apply uh, some orange background. So I'll just hit AA. And let's hit our uh, UVs. Export UV layout. And let's go to my K drive. Let's go uh, and let's uh, hit UV dot G. G and export UV layout. Okay, so um, I have created our text chain Photoshop and I have already put it on uh, our mall. And basically, what you need to do is you uh, select the object, go to material, uh, actually go to texture, select new, uh, type image or movie, then you open your image and uh, you, you set coordinates to UV and if uh, and when you hit render, like if you don't uh, uh, see your uh, uh, symbols because they are like on the other side on the umbrella, you can just hit uh, AA in edit mode to select all and, and rotate. So basically, right now we ha we have our our text on on umbrella, so we can uh, just join this guy and actually what you want to do in in, in, in a material tab is set di di diffuse color to pure white to 111 and then hit the texture button and then apply your texture right here okay so uh, now we are ready to jump into our our lux render and uh, probably do a pre-final render and see how things are going Minimize to my settings and film response to now. How about this guy? Basically, has a uh, uh, a lot of different pre uh, presets for um, for a picture you can shoot from. Like there's a ton of ton of uh, presets. Uh, just play around with those. Maybe they will be useful for you. Maybe they will not. But Right now, let's uh, fix our lights. So, um, don't know. Let's try this one. Oh, maybe this one. Let's see what it does. Uh, this one actually looks kind of interesting. I know I, I, you can play around with those, and uh, some of uh, these may or may not give you the like you need. Uh, but like, let's crank up left down just a touch. So right now we have a uh, a good looking uh, light and, and and scene and all in all uh, things looks very very good. I'm very happy with so uh, the work I've done. Uh, probably we can add an HDRI, but to know uh, usually I, I add HDRIs to like to. Uh, take advantage of reflections but as you can see it's pretty much close here and basically no re reflection we will be able to get this uh, on the bottom but yeah you know let's let's do this let's do this thing and at an HDRI so give lamp hemi yeah you can grab yours from um, openfootage.net or hdrimill.com uh, properly I I I don't really remember what well, where I get one, but it 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 it, it really doesn't matter uh, as long as you don't have like some specific ones like uh, uh, the deforest ones or or HDRIs with some uh, with some particular tint. Okay, where's my HDRI? Oh, so here we go. Oh, frozen waterfall. Basically, this one has a slight blue tint to adds a slight blue tint in the whole scene. But anyhow, okay, let's save our 
panel settings to tutorial in e. Let's close this guy. And um, let's move our HRI up just a touch so it doesn't get uh, into our way. Hit zero. Let's set a light group of HRI. Hit F12. And let's file load panel settings, the one we set before. Hit open, light groups, and let's see what this right brings to our scene. So if we like crank it up, like so. Nothing really happens, I don't know why. Well, uh, yeah, here we go. It has this uh, blue tint, and actually the image is blown down right now, but it doesn't matter. Because uh, basically what we need is uh, maybe touch of blue tint and some reflections on, on, on the bottom of our glass. So here you go. Uh, basically that is for this tutorial. Uh, this is uh, was VC Web Studio and have a good day.